Jeune Homme au Piano. The painting you see before you was painted by famous Impressionist painter Gustave Caillebotte of his younger brother, Martial. Marcel Caillebotte was composer, pianist, and photographer who studied piano and harmony at the Paris Conservatory from 1870 to 1874. He created a substantial number of musical compositions, including Melodie saint lyrique opera, symphonic poems, as well as sacred choral works. Born into a wealthy Parisian family, he did not need to work for a living and did not self-promote. Therefore, his pieces were rarely performed, and after his death, most of his compositions were left in family archives. Tonight, we celebrate the life and the rebirth of Marcel Caillebotte's music, as they are sung and played along the music of his contemporaries. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Here we have a photo of Marcel Caillebot and his brother Gustave Caillebot. Marcel to the left and Gustave to the right. The brothers were very close. They had a shared love of yachting, stamp collecting, music and art. Marcel Caillebot spent a lot of time with Gustave Caillebot and his friends, including Renoir, Monet and Degas. It is easy to think that Gustave influenced Marcel's writings and some of the writings reflected the impressionistic art that he saw in Gustav and in Gustav's friends. Now we are on to our next set. Enjoy. Oh, 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 oh,
Here we have a painting done by Auguste Renoir in 1895, entitled Les Enfants de Master Caibot. This painting reflects the close relationship the two gentlemen shared. Renoir was a very close friend to Gustave Caibot. When Gustave Caibot died in 1894, he left his collection of Impressionist paintings to Renoir and to Marcel Caillebotte to distribute to the Musée de Luxembourg and the Musée du Louvre. This was historically known as the Legue de Caillebotte. This painting simply reflects that Marcel Caillebotte was parmi les Impressionistes.
As mentioned earlier, Marcel Caillebot was also a photographer. Here we have a self-portrait, done in 1891, entitled Moi au balcon. Much of Marcel's photography was a reflection or reproduction of Gustave Caillebot's earlier paintings. Here we can see a bit of Homme au balcon, done in 1880. The fact that Marcel recreated so painstakingly his brother's paintings can be interpreted as both an homage to his brother's vision and proof of Martial's innovative artistic expression. That same innovative expression also came through in his musical compositions. Je ne peux 
Here is a painting done by Gustav Kaibot in 1876. This is the Kaibot family country home. As children, Marcel and Gustav would spend their summers and vacations playing in the parks and in the gardens, yachting and fishing in the river. The home still exists today right outside of Paris in the village of Yer. One can go visit and still feel the energy of the Kaibot family, as Gustav's paintings still hang on some of the walls in the home. In 1999, a French baritone named Benoit Rieu gave a recital of some of Marcel Caillebotte's melodies that you heard this evening. The recital is called Autour de Marcel Caillebotte. It is thanks to Benoit Rieu and our friendship that I learned more about Marcel Caillebotte and made him the subject of my dissertation. I really hope you enjoyed the music you heard this evening. May we have more Marcel Caillebotte's discoveries as we continue on. Thank you.